What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, according to legendary promoter, top ranked CEO, and promoter Bob Arum, who promotes undefeated two time heavyweight world champion British superstar boxer Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, Bob Arum, he states that Tyson Fury could be, you know, uh, on the hook to pay former Olympic bronze medalist, former reigning WBC American heavyweight world champion superstar boxer Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, a hefty, hefty, handsome fine. Uh, if he don't push forward with the trilogy match that he's contractually obligated to fulfill. With that said, uh, Tyson Fury is looking at the possibility of facing fellow countrymen, fellow uh, heavyweight champion, former two-time unified heavyweight world champion, who is currently the unified heavyweight world champion, did so twice after he was upset by uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. He regained the titles, that being Anthony Joshua, British superstar, uh, you know, heavyweight champion. With that said, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury represent a huge legacy feat for British boxing. We, the last time they had an undisputed heavyweight champion was Lennox Lewis, Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer, but he didn't solely represent the UK. He also represented Canada. He also represent, represented Jamaica. So he didn't solely represent the U United Kingdom. With that said, prior to Lennox Lewis, it was a hundred years since the last time they had an undisputed heavyweight champion. And so to, for Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, who solely represents the UK British boxing, it would mean uh, a huge legacy feat for the sport of boxing for British boxing. So they want this fight to push forward. But with that said, Tyson Fury, after he defeated Deontay Wilder, February of 2020 uh, in a, you know, highly anticipated rematch via seventh round stoppage victory over Deontay Wilder. He's contractually obligated to fulfill a trilogy match with Deontay Wilder. And if he doesn't push for, he, well, they, they chose, they chose to take the opportunity to use the global pandemic as a, a way to being able to maneuver around fighting Deontay Wilder in a trilogy match. They understand what Deontay Wilder represents. He's a huge risk. Uh, for them, you know, not being able to stage this all British showdown, because at the end of the day, if you inject Deontay Wilder into the equation, well, then it's not an all British showdown. UK wins or lose, you know, uh, they win all the way around. Should Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua win, they're guaranteed to get an undisputed heavyweight champion, regardless if it's Anthony Joshua or regardless if it's Tyson Fury. But that said, uh, they're contractually obligated, that being Tyson Fury and Team Fury, to give Deontay Wilder a trilogy match. And so Deontay Wilder has took them to mediation, and now he's in arbitration. And according to Bob Arum, they can pay a hefty, hefty, handsome fine and have to, um, Deontay Wilder will be awarded uh, a lot of money in damages because they didn't, uh, uh, you know, they didn't fulfill their obligation in a trilogy match. And there's other things that could follow, you know, uh, the WBC may be, you know, their hand may be forced to strip Tyson Fury of the WBC title. OK, uh, this, that's the reason why they're trying to get Deontay Wilder to agree to a different fight, a Dillian White fight, Andy Ruiz fight, you know, uh, just like in order, you know, to in similar to a step aside money. OK, they want Deontay Wilder out of the picture, but they want him to agree. So they're not. Uh, on the hook and obligated or, you know, in the, in the, you know, uh, running the risk of possibly losing the belt and things of that nature. So you've, it's been two weeks. It's been a long time. They've been telling the world that, you know, uh, they were going to announce the fight that Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, they both agreed, you know, uh, and signed the contract to a two fight deal for 2021. But there's a huge hurdle in the way. And that's in the form of Deontay Wilder. And now Bob Aaron is saying that, they could pay, uh, you know, a, a, a hefty fine in damages towards Deontay Wilder. I believe this is where it's coming from, where you hear guys like Max Kellerman, colorful uh, ESPN boxing pundit, uh, stating that Deontay Wilder is going to take step aside money. It's not step aside money, according to Bob Arum. It's in the form of uh, damages being paid, you know, because uh, they, he's he's owed, you know, a trilogy match, okay? And they're breaching the contract, essentially trying to push forward with this all British showdown. 
again, there's a lot at stake with this British showdown. It's huge for the legacy of the UK, United Kingdom, British boxing, okay, for them to have uh, this undisputed showdown on the UK soil. Uh, now they're saying that it's a possibility it could take place on UK soil. Uh, prior to that, they were saying that it was going to take place in possibly Dubai. It could take place in Asia. They're looking for different places and revenue uh, to be able to... Um, venues i said revenues different venues to be able to host this uh massive showdown um but the reason the big hold up is deontay wilder is a huge roadblock right uh he can force their hand in this entire equation and they're saying that they, they tyson fury is giving them a deadline of 28 days because he wants to stay active uh and according to reports his father you know, a big John Fury, he doesn't like the idea of Tyson Fury going straight away into a fight with Anthony Joshua, having been out the ring for over a year. Um, but with that said, you know, he would have to go into the ring with Deontay Wilder if it's not Anthony Joshua. Now, in the case of Deontay Wilder, they both been out the ring the same amount of time because the last time both guys fought was the last time they fought each other. So, you know, um, I guess he likes big John Fury, Tyson Fury's dad. He likes the idea of fighting Deontay Wilder, you know, opposed to going in there with Anthony Joshua, who's been relatively active because he's just fought his um, IBF mandatory challenge in Kubat Pool. If Anthony Joshua himself has uh, a WBO mandatory challenger in Olis and Usyk. Uh, so with that said, you know, um, Bob Arum is stating that, you know, they may have to pay Deontay Wilder hefty fines. So I believe that the fact that they're reporting that Deontay Wilder is willing to take step aside money, I believe it's not step aside money at all whatsoever. I do believe that uh, this is a form of, you know, uh, in, in damages, you know, he has to be, um, uh, uh, he has to be compensated for not being able to secure the trilogy match that they're contractually obligated to. Now, obviously, Deontay Wilder's main focus is going to be able to secure the trilogy match because Deontay Wilder, he wants to regain his title. Uh, he's only lost one time in his career. That was to Tyson Fury. And he wants to be in a position where he can regain his title, okay? Uh, and as he should because he's the a former world champion, okay? Uh, but uh, his number one focus is the Tyson Fury fight, uh, you know, but their number one focus is securing the a huge showdown in all British boxing, right? And now since you're having things starting to ease up, uh, there's talk of possibly having a fight take place at Wembley Stadium. Uh, there's investment groups that, according to uh, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn, he's stating that um, there's investment groups willing to pay them over $200 million to stage the fight and be involved in the fight. Uh, so, you know, that's their main focus. That's their number one goal and number one focus is to you know, uh, place this fight. Like I said, the last time they had an undisputed champion was Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis represented multiple countries. He represented Canada. He represented Jamaica. He didn't solely represent uh, the UK. Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua solely represent the UK. And prior to Lennox Lewis, it was a hundred years before they had, since they had a, a, you know, a heavyweight undisputed world champion. So, this is huge for British boxing. This is a huge statement for British boxing. And to have it on UK soil would, would would speak volumes for British boxing. And that's their main focus. That's the reason why uh, you hear so many conflicting reports about Deontay Wilder didn't, uh, you know, uh, properly inform Tyson Fury and everybody involved that he wanted a trilogy match. Deontay Wilder allowed, you know, uh, time to run out with the contract, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder, he don't want the, the trilogy match. Deontay Wilder is willing to take step aside money. They, they're going to any measure to try to wiggle around Deontay Wilder. Uh, Eddie Hearn just recently came out and stated after Dillian White, he knocked out Alexander Povetkin in his highly anticipated re that uh, Dillian, Deontay Wilder reached out to him in his inbox and uh, told him that he wants to make the fight. You know, uh, these are hurdles. These are roadblocks that they're trying to place in the way. Uh, and if Deon, if they if they were on the up and up and they weren't in the wrong, then they wouldn't have to pay Deontay Wilder any compensation for them any damages. If Deontay Wilder let time expire, if Deontay Wilder neglected to inform them that he wanted the, the trilogy match and he was going to activate the trilogy match clause, 
if that was the case, then they wouldn't have to um, pay him any compensation for any wrongdoing. Simply, this is a case that they didn't want to go in a trilogy match. They want to secure this fight between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. They don't want to run the risk of Deontay Wilder uh, knocking Tyson Fury out in a trilogy match. And now you don't have the old British showdown. See, when you have Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, you're in a win-win situation. The UK wins all the way around. Either which way, win, lose, or draw, somebody's going to be the undisputed, well, win and lose. Somebody's going to be the undisputed British boxer heavyweight champion. If you inject Deontay Wilder, well, now it's a 50-50 chance. Because if he wins, then the, the belts all come back to the States. Now you, you're placing all your eggs in one basket. In the case with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, you're in a more comfortable place because the UK wins either which way history will be made. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.